Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV, and I'm standing here with Matthias Maura, who is an ESA astronaut, but he's not yet been to space. So, what are you doing to prepare? Well, the first step for an astronaut is to train, and I'm currently in basic training, pre assignment training. That's three years of training, and uh, I'm about to finish that one, and I'm waiting for a mission now. Okay, and what can you tell me a bit more about your training? What do you need to do? Well, the first phase is like you need to understand how a rocket work, works and how a space station works. You need to learn a lot of languages. You need to make uh, survival training and uh, a lot of different uh, other types of training which are related to spaceflight. Now, what are the next steps, in your opinion, for human spaceflight? The next steps to fly to space is like, okay, we continue flying to low Earth orbit, means ISS, because we need... Uh, uh, we, we need to continue with the research in zero G and, and without gravity. But the next step will be flying beyond low Earth orbit. So currently it's 400 kilometers of altitude and we want to fly to 400,000 kilometers of altitude, which is the moon, 1,000 times further away from Earth than we're flying now. So we need to prepare the technology and the way we operate on the moon. And that is also part of my job when I'm, when I'm not training uh, for being an, an astronaut for flying to the ISS. So you're preparing the technology? I'm part of a team that prepares the future. It's uh, the Spaceship EIC team. It's uh, part of what, students, scientists that work together. We sit together and we reflect what kind of technology do we need on the moon and later on on Mars. Technology like how do we build a house where we can safely live? How can we produce oxygen to breathe, water to drink? How can we produce energy? Now you mentioned earlier that you uh, part of your training is learning languages and I understand that you're learning Chinese. Why Chinese? Well, I mean, Europe has no, uh, no proper capsule to fly to space, so we always need to have a rocket and we need to be invited by another nation. Currently we fly on a Soyuz rocket, so everyone who flies on a Soyuz rocket needs to learn Russian. In the future we might fly to the new Chinese space station and of course if you want to fly with the Chinese you need to learn Chinese. Do you like Chinese food? It's brilliant, so I would love to have Chinese food in space. Now, do you have any messages for the next generation of astro astronauts, the kids? Space is fascinating and I can only encourage everyone who dreams about flying to space or being part of preparing the future to space to uh, have a look at ESA pages because we need lots of good kids, brilliant uh, brains to prepare the future. We need good engineers and uh, so there's a lot of need for everyone and a lot of people can participate in preparing our future. Matthias, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space or about human spaceflight, you can visit our website, www.esa.int.